Hello everybody, this is Thor Young with Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to talk today a little bit about volume by price. Um, as I've been going through my videos, I've been kind of allowing the comments to dictate what um, new subjects I'm covering, and one that's been coming out a lot is my volume by price bars that I'm using over here, and people want to know how to use them uh, to potentially um, see better setups or to get into trades, and, and how that all works, also how to configure them. So I thought I'd go ahead and cover that. As you can see here, I took a trade here on Delta today. I actually took a $100 stop out at the beginning of the day. I was holding for the loss of this daily level. Um, I thought it was going to hold up here. I had the wrong idea. Didn't really work out too well. So I got in here and I actually added a little on the breakup. Then it came down and stopped me out. So, oh well, what are you going to do? Um, was running a loose top there because I thought it would hold and eventually break up. But um, it didn't. And actually, I need to do a little more up right there. Beautiful. So um, Delta uh, came down here and it held this pre-market low right here, as you can see. Now, my favorite levels we talk about is pre-market low. So the next thing I'm really looking for after that is look at this volume by price candle here. Notice how the volume there is actually um, really, um, really, really strong. Now, one other thing you notice, like we look at this here all the time, which is volume by time, right, which tells you at this specific moment, you know, there was a good amount of buying volume. But what this shows you here is that at this price level at 2840, there is a lot of transactions occurring there. That's identifying probably a larger pocket of liquidity in the market. And I'm sure if you look at the level two, you're going to see a lot more going on there. So seeing all of that transactions going on there, I was really waiting to see if it was going to break out and get through here. So we came down, we held this level. Notice we've got all of this volume happening here at this price. So I went ahead and took a position. Um, it popped up. I got a little partial. It pulled down and it actually stopped me out. But then it came down, held, came right back up in and I was long. And then we were off to go. Uh, it came back again, stopped me out at break even, but came up, made a new high. So I took a long, added, got in, added some more, and then we were off to the races. So um, it took a little bit of work to get into this one. She was wicking a little bit more because the spy was, you know, kind of being a little erratic at the time. But it can just show you how strong this was. So we had this pre-market level hold, and then we're going to see where this larger pocket of liquidity is with the volume by price. If you like the volume by price, all you got to do to add it is you right-click on DOS, come to your study config, go to the bottom, and then you'll see volume by price right here. You just move it over, and then this is how mine's configured. And I'll leave it up here for just a second. So if you're watching this video and you just want to grab a screenshot of that, you can. But basically what I'm doing is I have this check mark, so I see the down volume, and I'm using 14 bars. So now one thing before I'm done for the day, I wanted to kind of recap. Remember, volume by price, is a it changes dynamically depending upon the um, specific time frame you're in. So if you go out to like the 15 minute, for instance, you will see how the volume by price changes but now look on the 15 minute see these different areas of volume by price but it can really show once it came to pre-market came up here and held this is where a lot happened so when you're looking for better or stronger levels right go out and look for where the volume is happening at a particular price and that might give you a better idea of where the big players are trying to get in and get out so hope this video has been useful for you guys. I hope you're all having a great day and I hope you're all keeping it green. Thanks.